Hello, I'm Michael Plesnik, and this is How to Play Shaker A, Volume 1. This is the Shaker A. You'll see it is a beaded net covered by a hard shell gourd. If you already have made your Shaker A, check inside the Shaker A and make sure that there's no extra skin or seeds in there because that can hamper your sound. This video is basically going to be how to play the shaker A. And we're going to cover uh, a variety of patterns. And firstly, we're going to start with technique. Getting a tone, moving the shaker A, shaking the shaker A, and some tricks. First, I'll give a little playing demonstration. So that's just a little playing to give you an idea of what we're going to cover. Holding the shaker A. Holding the shaker A is very important. To hold it, we're going to hold with the thumb and the forefinger at the top, right here. So it's very important your thumb and forefinger hold the top of the neck like glue, okay? The bottom of the gourd you're going to use your four fingertips, and it's going to be like glue also. Basically, you always want to have a feeling of contact with the shaker A. You don't want it flying in the air like that unless that's an advanced technique you specifically want to do. Generally, we'll be holding on to the gourd at all times. sound is going to come out of my heel, but even when my heel hits, there's still a sense of sticking to the gourd. Now, to get action on the gourd, the first thing we're going to do is just practice a simple left-right, left-right, back-and-forth movement. And when I say action, action refers to any time the net, this whole net, shifts back and forth. That's what's giving us our sound. So the first thing we want to do is get a sense of the action and get a feel for just your basic move left, right. So pick up your shaker A, hold on to it with your forefinger and thumb like glue, hold on with your forefingers right here, and we're going to get a nice parallel movement. We're going to get a movement that goes back and forth, but it's going to stay in an alley. It's not going to go out here and out here and all over the place. It's like there's a wall here and there's a wall here, and it's just going to stay right in this alleyway. It's going to stay right in this alleyway here, parallel to your body. So your body's flat here, unless you've got a little belly. <laughs> and then uh, the shake rate is parallel to your body. So we're just going to go drop out, drop out, drop out. And when you're doing drop out, drop out, drop out, just get a feel, a relaxation, and a sense of, uh, of flow. The forefinger and thumb, again, remain connected. 
the four fingers glued on the bottom, and we're getting a sense of flow back and forth, getting the beads to move. That's the most